Hello. Now, a while back, I made a series about remaking Five Nights at Freddy's, and the most frequent question I get is, how do you make the camera move in the office? So, I wanted to make a short little tutorial on how to do that. So, right here, I have a simple little office scene with just a sprite for the office and some utilities. And this is what the game looks like. So right now, the night guard is fully paralyzed. But in the real game, the night guard is only paralyzed up to the shoulders. Now we don't have to actually change the position of the office sprite. Godot has blessed us with the camera node. So I'm just going to insert a camera and then set the anchor mode to fixed top left. And when I hit play, that doesn't change anything. But by moving the camera left and right, you can pan the office. So attach a script to the camera. And in the process function, I'm going to print the local mouse position. So here are my uh, window settings. Notice how I'm using canvas items for the stretch mode. So you should see that in the le top left corner, the mouse position is zero, zero, like that and it shouldn't matter how I resize uh, the window, the top left corner of the game should be zero, zero, no matter what. So if it's not like that, you should try changing the window settings. Now I'm going to create two variables, one called scroll area, which is going to be a float, and one called scroll speed, which is also a float. And in the process function, we can say if the local mouse position dot x is less than the scroll area then decrease the x position by the scroll speed times delta so the scroll area is how far your mouse has to be from the side of the screen in order to scroll the camera so I'm, so I'm just going to set it to 300 pixels matter of fact that should probably be an integer and the scroll speed is well, the scroll speed, I'm just going to set it to 800. Now, if I hit play and put my mouse to the left of the screen, the camera moves to the left. Now, to make the camera move to the right, we're going to have to know the screen width. So create a variable, screen width equals project settings dot get setting. Now, the project setting we're trying to get is the viewport width which is under display, window, size, viewport width. So type that in as a string, display, window, size, viewport width. And now I can say, if the local mouse position dot X is greater than the screen width minus the scroll area, then position dot X gets increased by scroll speed, if I can spell it right, times delta. So now the camera can move left and right uh, with my mouse, uh, yay. But it seems like we unparalyzed our night guard a little too much because now he's able to look past the fabric of reality. So we need to apply a limit to how far he can look left or right. But first we're gonna need to know the width of the office sprite. So create a variable for the office sprite office sprite sprite 2d and you should see this appear over here now you're just going to take the office node and drag it into there and also create a variable called office width and make it an integer now in the ready function you can say if office sprite office width equals office sprite dot texture dot get width and in the process function, if office sprite, if the X position of the camera is less than the X position of the office, then set the X position to the X position of the office. But if the X position plus the screen width is greater than the office width, then set the X position to the office width minus the screen width. And that should be it. Hold up, never mind, I made a mistake. There should be office sprite dot position dot x. And for this one too. Now test it, and the camera cannot go past the office. 
And if you want the camera to start out in the middle of the office, you can put in the ready function position dot x equals office width minus screen width divided by two. And now the camera starts out in the middle of the office. Great. Now this is a simple uh, FNAF camera system. But if you've played Five Nights before, you know that the camera moves faster the closer your mouse gets to the edge of the screen. Now in FNAF 1, there's three stages of how fast the camera can move. Here's my idea. So pretend this is the screen and these shaded areas are the scroll area. So my idea is to split the scroll area into multiple sections that I call scroll divisions. So if you have three of them like this, then it would be three scroll divisions. And once your mouse goes into the first one, then the screen would move uh, slowly. Once it moves into the second one, then it will move quicker. And then at the third one, it moves at the maximum speed. And the maximum speed is gonna be the scroll speed. So let's create the variable to control the amount of scroll divisions. Make it an integer. And to calculate it, we're gonna need some variables. We're gonna need distance, division size, and speed multiplier. And they're all floats. In the ready function, division size equals scroll area divided by scroll divisions. Now you can't divide by zero. So if scroll divisions equals zero, then scroll divisions equals one. Now let's go back to the process function and under the this, you wanna put distance equals scroll area minus the local mouse position dot X. So this is basically like how close to the edge of the screen is your mouse. And now we want to calculate the speed multiplier. So I'm going to create a function down here called get speed multiplier. So you're going to say speed multiplier equals clamp the floor of distance divided by division size plus one. And the minimum value is going to be one. The maximum value is the number of scroll divisions. So basically this will be a number from one to the number of of scroll divisions. Now, I don't know why uh, you put this there. I, uh, I asked ChatGPT for help. Anyways, we can use our get speed multiplier function right here. And now all we have to do is multiply the scroll speed by the speed multiplier. So this is for the left side. For the right side, it's just gonna be slightly more complicated. You say distance equals the local mouse position dot x minus the screen width minus the scroll area. Then you can get speed multiplier and multiply the scroll speed by the speed multiplier. Now I'm gonna set the scroll divisions to three. And I'm gonna set the scroll speed to 300 just to show you. It works. So the closer my mouse gets to the edge of the screen, the faster the camera moves. And there's like three stages of how fast it could move. So we've got like slow, medium, and fast. But the camera is actually moving faster than the scroll speed when your mouse is all the way to the left or right. So we wanna make the scroll speed the maximum speed. So to fix that, you go to the get speed multiplier function and then after you calculate it, you want to divide the speed multiplier by the scroll divisions. And I believe that's all. So yay, you got a camera now. Now if you set the scroll divisions to a big number like 100, you'll see that you get some really smooth movement. And you can also set it to 0 or 1, which will just give you a constant camera speed. And the lower you set the scroll area, then the closer your mouse has to be to the side of the screen. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, found this useful, and thank you for watching.